Well, I've decided to redo my framing video. It was too long and, and I want to condense the, the setup. The setup that I've used to cut the frames to length is a simple stop set at 45 degrees. Then I make my first cut, move that up to there, and then make my second cut here. Now, after you make that second cut, you're left with this end, which won't fit in there. So then you have to cut that off and then it fits in there. And uh, that does it for the, uh, that they come out exactly the same. I'll show you two pieces. Well, you, you have the two pieces. I'll show you two pieces that have come out exactly to length. They, they, they all come out to length. Now the next step is going to be the gluing. So I'm going to step over to the other side of the table here. And the gluing is, is a little bit picky. Well, we'll, we'll go through the process because uh, I like to keep the grain continuous because it makes for a smoother connection. So I put that there and uh, that, that matches up perfectly. This one here looks like it would probably go in there and it, no, it doesn't. So now I'll try it on this side here and it matches perfectly there. And then this one here, if this was from a continuous strip, should match up either here, which it doesn't, or on the other side, which it doesn't either. So that was an odd, so that may have been at the end of the run, but it, it's close. Right. So I pushed them all together, get the, wipe the dust off it so the tape sticks. Right. Then the next step is to tape them all together and that goes as follows. One piece at the end, you'll see why. Over here, one piece on the end, then another piece over here. And you, you'll notice that I, I'm putting them together at the edge of the bench so everything fits snug and I hold it in tight with my fingers while I put the tape on. That's another one. Then another one here. And uh, you don't drop the tape. That was, uh, that was a mistake. I, I didn't <laughs> right, So you make sure that's together tightly. You put the tape there. All right. Then you put the, another piece. After dropping the tape, then you pick up the tape again. That's important. You look for the, then you put another piece in over here, like that, another piece in like that. I'll probably speed this up when I'm editing if I can figure out how to do it. All right, now hold it in tight, snug, line up the tape. Then the important thing is to make sure that the tape is nice and tight because if it isn't, when you put it together, glue will come in underneath the tape and, and you'll get it on the surface and that messes up the paint. Right, after doing that, we flip this over and now we have to glue the, there's the glue. Now we have to glue the ends. I just glue one side because it, it spreads out. So you, we start gluing the end up there and over here like that. Then this end here like that. And like that. This one here, like that, and like that. Being a little sloppy here because of the time factor, that and like that. And then this end here, like that, and like that. And I'll be getting some glue spread out here. But all right, we'll deal with that. All right, now, the next step is to lift up the whole chain. Lift up the whole chain like this then lay it on the board. This is an important step to just lay it flat because that's what, what ensures that everything fits together perfectly. All right, so that, that goes there, then that comes together like that, and you check the corners to make sure everything is uniform. That goes together there, that goes together like that. All right, that goes together like that. Then kind of try and squeeze the ends together manually, and Wrap that last piece of tape around snugly. 
fairly snug. You'll see why it's not totally important. All right, then uh, you've got some some glue floating around, so wipe that off. The back, you can see how, how, how it's come together very, very nicely. It's all come together very nicely. Uh, this is a little bit loose, but the, the, the final step will, will suck that together. All right, then I just, I haven't thought of a faster way to set this up, but I make a stop over here, there, and there. And then I reach down and I get a rubber band and put it up on top and then carefully come down and snap it around the other end. And that basically the frame has been glued together. You, you can see it's come together quite nicely. It's flush because we pulled we put we pulled it together on the tabletop and uh, now, I'll just wipe out the, the little bits of glue. And a final step, because I'm concerned about glue coming out from underneath here and underneath the, I pull out the, uh, I remove the tape from all the sides. I have an example of what the front, that's what the, the final, you can see what the final frame looks like. Oh, I did a sloppy job on the glue there. All right, and there's the back, and you see it's all come together very nicely. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope it's been helpful. Have a good day. Bye-bye.